Uh, we are confident that we will have the public safety measures in place so people can participate, but there's certainly a lot of concerns. COVID numbers are climbing again, and so is public anxiety, according to polls, but the election is going ahead anyway. Whether you mail in your ballot or head to the polls in person, make sure you make your voice heard. Have your say. 18 million people voted in the 2019 federal election, very few of them using mail-in ballots. This year, Elections Canada expects at least 2.3 million to vote that way, even if COVID is well under control. If there's a strong fourth wave and lockdowns, that number could rise to 5 million. That has consequences for the individual voter who needs to act earlier if they want to vote by mail. It's also important to note that by law, electors who apply to vote by mail cannot simply change their mind later on and vote another way. When a person applies to vote by mail, they're struck off the list of people who can vote in person. They can still vote on the day if they have to, though, by swearing an oath. Now, I know that Canadians are used to getting complete results on election night. With perhaps a hundred times more mail-in ballots than the last election, counting is going to take a while. In most locations, this should be done within two days, but in some in some uh, districts, it could take as long as five days, depending on the volume and the distribution. Elections Canada promises twice daily updates as the count proceeds. A COVID wave could bring other problems too, as it did in Newfoundland and Labrador's election in March, when poll workers refused to show up. Polling stations will have COVID measures, including a new pencil for every voter. They could also be in unfamiliar locations this year, as some traditional venues, particularly schools, may not be available. Evan Dyer, CBC News, Chelsea, Quebec.